This NFL Best Ball Draft edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Edge Boost. Edge Boost enables you to double your bet with no interest. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge to get started today. What's up, everybody? You're watching SGPN. Fuck the Cowboys. Let's go, baby. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second that money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Could you start referring to me as world class mm. endurance athlete? <laughs> parentheses fantasy football. Yes, we are back. You can leave out the parentheses. We are back in the best ball draft streets. I think this is uh, our twelfth best ball draft. These things are so fun. I have a super street addictive. Story. You I what? have a street story. Street. All Since right. we're in the streets. Okay. Went to a hardware store today. Was looking oh. for some uh redoing the backyard, no big deal. Uh not not a not a flex at all, but getting a pool. Need some stuff. Anyway, we go it's a small hardware store. You know the city hardware store, yep. Sean. And uh I'm like, hey, any chance you guys got a nursery or something where you sent us? <clears throat> yeah, you gotta go out here. He walks us through like this back area through a, a a door that clearly was Jerry rigged up there. And he's like, just walk up that alley. You'll see Alice up there, <laughs> walk out of this alley. And uh, look, I am a fan of medicating when needed, but Holy Ooh, shit. Did it smell? Weed. It was a hot box and it was outside. <laughs> and then we walk through this alley. Uh, we make it all the way up this grueling hill. It was probably like a, we'll call it an eighth mile walk. Where was this? And uh, shout out to the, uh, I want to say it was an Ace Hardware, up in uh, Alta Altadena. Oh, and then you got some sweet plants as well. Uh, did not get plants, but we'll we'll be going back. The wife really liked some of their succulents. It was nice. All right, yeah. chat is live. We're <laughs> we're a little late here. I'll make sure you that oh. subscribe button. YouTube.com slash Sports Gaming Podcast. I had a. <laughs> Stand up show, we're in a little late. Oh, uh, I was out in the nursery, just <laughs> checking on the plants. Ryan was Ryan was uh was hanging out with the plants. Daniel in the YouTube chat just says, I love you. Love you too, Daniel. I mean, uh maybe you're referring to our picks. Uh we'll get to it as the week unfolds because What do you mean we'll get to it? If you hit a ten to one prop <laughs> that I had to crowbar in because you were trying to end the show. No, well, let's I, go. I I gave it. A, I said. Uh, I yeah. said Joker plus forty points and Heat money line. That hit. Yeah. Heat money line. Heat plus eight and a half. Uh, USFL went four and fucking oh. Nice. You're welcome, America. You d I did notice you missed your dog. I did hit my I know, lock. I, did. Dog. I missed the dog by one. <laughs> I hit my lock, but I went four and zero oh against the spread. Hit the Vegas Knights. Yeah. Everything on the Heat. Struess hit it like the first quarter. Yeah. It was a it was a hell of a weekend. I can and I can only assume that uh, the NASCAR guys won tons of money. The golf guys won tons of money. F one I saw crushed it. Noah I assume is crushing the College World yeah. Series. We'll have him on later in the week to discuss. It's just been a banner week for. But yeah, just, just casually hitting a ten dollar ten ten to one in a game that was clearly fixed. <laughs> he did sneak it in at the end. He did. He got those forty points. All right, enough messing around. Let's talk real sports, aka. Underdog Fantasy, aka Best Ball. Of course, if you haven't signed up for Underdog Fantasy, I use promo code SGPN. You get the 100% deposit bonus up to $100. AKA, you deposit $100, they match your $100, and then you essentially get four free shots at winning up to, what is it, like $14 million in yeah. prizes? Pretty insane. Uh, these drafts are only $25, so you get four entries. Joining us here to talk Underdog Fantasy, aka the bestest of balls, Mr. Andrew Robb from SGPN Fantasy Football. What's happening, Andrew? What's going on, guys. I love all the uh, herb talk. I am a fellow green thumb myself. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's actually exciting to be sitting down doing a draft because Bruni and I have just been 
busting our balls on those cardio machines yeah. doing the underdog cardio club. So uh, it's it's nice to be able to sit down and not have to sweat <laughs> one out here. It is funny to see Bruni clearly uh, clearly like working himself, you know, working out, and he's got the SGP and headband. He's got like the Wayne's World virtual background. I don't it's, think we get. I don't on. think Bruni gets enough credit. <laughs> yes. Shout out to Bruni. Shout out to Gindy in the chat as well. He's like well. a Duncan Robinson of <laughs> SGPN. Yeah, he's he's putting up buckets. Like uh, Jake Paquin said uh, he hung out with some plants himself. So we're, we're all, all we're all ready to go. <laughs> no, that's here. weird to hang out with him, dude. You're about to kill him. You're gonna slaughter him with well, flames. You know how they say <laughs> they say that's the worst kind of death because you burn and suffocate. Brian, we have a money tree in our office. It's now true. they say normally you're supposed to play classical music for your plants, but our plants, I would imagine, are hardcore degen. So I think what we're gonna start doing is well, I, playing I, the podcasts for the plants. So the plants hear, hey, this is what winners sound like. It, you're right, a winner plant. Right now it's hearing uh, Formula One engines <laughs> as I was watching the replay of the race. It often listens to CJ. Oh yeah. And I'll, I'm gonna Colby I, yelling about that. I hate to break it to you, but when no one else is in the office, it may have heard some classical music before, Sean. I I don't want to. It may may or may not have heard some classic. Ooh, music. Smoking my weed. All right, oh, you gotta get locked in, locked in. <laughs> Words just get in the way. All right, enough messing around. Yeah, let's, let's hop in, in right. to the best ball mania four. Andrew, while we're uh, and, and again, if you're watching live, youtubecom slash sports gambling podcast, draft along with us. Uh, Ryan will officially give us the green light. All right, I'm going in. Okay. I I, I missed the, I missed the button. I missed clicked. If if you're watching live, you saw me miss a click. Hop in. All right, we got four people. All right, I'm hopping in. Andrew, two. Are we all Andrew. in? Are we all in? I'm one in. person. One more. one more from okay. the chat. We're all in. Nice. Good work, everyone. Andrew, who's your favorite guy to draft right now? I know it's a wide open question, but who, when you have him, That's you're a like, loaded this question. is a great pick. Man, um, at ADP, uh, it's probably Deontay Johnson, just uh, based off oh, of okay. how many targets he's getting. Um, and uh, you yeah. know, if you look at the guys going around problem. about the same position, there's not a lot of guys that go there that have that same target value. So I, I really like drafting him because I don't think he's going to go a whole another season without scoring a touchdown. Uh, so that, that's probably my uh, my main guy. Um, if you're asking me tight end wise, though, it's it's Chig. I mean, again, <laughs> if you look at the guys going around him, I mean, yeah. It, it, I'm worried. I'm that, worried. Chig. I was Chig's number one fan last year. I'm worried he was almost getting too much steam, but you can you can put together some secret Titan stacks pretty late, and you can get guys like Ch Chig. You actually have to pay up for, but the uh, trail on Burks is probably uh, underdrafted right now. ADP Tannehill is essentially free, um, and then even like if you want to draft a second receiver there, I, you can really put together a Titan stack without giving up much. All right. Yeah, the love for Chig though was warranted because I, I wrote about him in my top ten best ball tight ends. And if you take what he did when he really got involved in the offense, which was I think starting week twelve through the end of the season, if you take those games and average out the points per game and add them to a full season, he would have finished as tight end six. So I mean, as a guy who's going well after the top twelve, uh, you know that's a guy that I like drafting a, a shit ton of. Yeah. Please don't give uh, Sean any materials for his, for our top ten list, which we'll be recording <laughs> at some point in the near future. Yeah, I mean, he's so popular that I actually got snaked uh, a, for, a for stack. Uh, yeah, I was building a Tennessee stack, and he got taken just completely naked. I see that Justin Jefferson fell to me at two, so I kind of have to take him there. Yeah, Chase. Uh, Chase so I've goes one. Two, Jefferson goes two. Three drafts in a row, and I built a couple nice Burrow stacks. But good to get some diversity here. Gindy, uh, uh, writer and uh, podcaster here on SGPN. Great name, AKA by the way. Team Team Ramrod. Great name. That is Gindy, right? Team Ramrod. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Hey, well, I, got, I like the onions. I like the onions of going out there before you knew. <laughs> uh, Christian McCaffrey is his pick. Uh, Tyree Kill. I'm sitting at seven. I like seven. I, I like anywhere. Again, I hate. I hate like super early and super late. Mostly because I just hate waiting to draft so long, especially early on in this process because you don't really. Oh, this is horrible. I hate it, drafting it, early. It, it's you. You wait so long. It's tough to predict who's going to fall to you. And it's kind of tough to put um, a lineup together. Now, again, Kelsey is sitting right here. Yeah, you have to because I'm going to take Kelsey. Mahomes stacks are still available. Yeah, I, I, I think I. Cheap. I mean, you could probably you can really gamble on it too. 
Well, I did. And then uh, pivot if you don't get we it. We just randomly fired up a best ball draft in the office, and I ended up getting Patrick Mahomes and uh, Jalen Hurts and Travis Kelsey. It was now obviously my receivers didn't end up being great, but I had a bunch of good running backs. Uh, pretty interesting uh, lineup I put together. So I took Kelsey. Uh, AJ Brown goes. Oh, Andrew, you're you're in the twelve hole. Who mm. are you hoping falls to you? Um, probably gonna take uh, just a double tap of wide receivers here. Um, we'll, we'll see who falls. I yeah, I I actually like when I'm at the end of the draft. I've been enjoying the teams that I go either double like two stud RBs or just one. Feels like the right spot to. I've been taking a lot of Barkley and Eckler. That's been a fun combo. I've been I mean, you together. could you could start your team with Jonathan Taylor and Saquon Barkley, which. You, you can you can do I'm, worse. I'm kind of out on Taylor. He might not be in my top ten. Why? Because you think uh, I'm Anthony so, I'm, Richardson's going to steal rushing more, touchdowns? Uh, or he's I, just not going to get full, him? Fully out on that team. I think mm. people are making some real huge leaps in terms of what the Colts are going to be this year. Oh, Anthony Richardson made an accurate throw in 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 OTA. That's only impressive because Will Levis missed the entire net. <laughs> well, Trey Lance also. I sent you the oh. uh, pull that tweet up, Ryan. If Hold you can. on. CD well, Lamb. What do you mean if I can? I CD Lamb. Garrett Wilson go to uh, Andrew. After I pick up. I, I mean, Andrew. The Cowboys first round. Come on. What are we doing here? That is a disgusting act. You should have yeah, grabbed Pollard too. And, it was between him and Amonra. Um, I mean, I just think CD is just going to be the target hog there. I mean, who else do they really have to throw to? Yeah, no, I, no I, disrespect although, to, to Brandon Cooks. Bra Brandon, Brandon Cooks. Disrespect. It's annoying that he's uh, <laughs> that he's on the Cowboys because he's always a fun click there because uh, he just surprises people. Uh, so I I ended up uh, taking Patrick Mahomes. So I got the Kelsey Mahomes stack. It's wet. How can you feel bad about that? <clears throat> it's wet. Uh, Jalen Waddle goes. Devonta Smith goes. Devonta Smith's going pretty high in the second round. It's tough. Oh, I was I was considering doing something slippery there, mm. going Hurts and Smith. Well, you you lost your chance uh, on Devonta Smith. I still think you can play Hurts. I mean, again, the fact that they oh I played Hurts. <laughs> I mean, the fact that they they haven't adjusted the goal line push thing. I still think he's going to get a ton of uh, goal line carries it, as a as a running quarterback. He still has a pretty good value. Kramer, you're on the clock here. Yeah. And this is, this is why it also sucks being in this spot. You end up in this kind of dead zone of, of who do I take? And you end up having to just take guys you like Ramondre. It's a great pick. Ramondre I, it, it, does, it feels a little bit like a reach, but no, man, I mean, especially with I, I'm no... getting higher and higher on him. Pollard, another guy. If I wasn't a Cowboys hater, Ramondre, Pollard, great Pollard, pick. the injury stuff with where he's getting drafted at scares me a little bit. All right. So what I've done right now, mm. and of course, Sean, we care about the correlation, but what I've done right now is by, by locking in Derrick Henry, I know, you know, you know who the Derrick Henry can be a bring back for. CJ Stroud in my Houston Texans. Oh, a hundred percent back. If you if you want an up Texans <laughs> update, hundred percent back in on the Texans. <laughs> so uh, Gindy took uh, uh, Jalen Hurts there. Kramer with the uh, with the two back to back running backs. I got Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. I got Travis Kelsey. I can prove uh, wide open as far as what I do here. Uh, yeah. I mean. I, I don't like Brees Hall. I just don't. I like building Kelsey teams with no like one. Just take Taysom Hill later. Br Put Taysom Hill in the queue. Oh, yeah. and take him later. Uh, Brees Hall goes uh, to the Jets. I'm on the clock here. Calvin Ridley available. Debo available. Debo Samuel's pretty interesting, just because of um, again, Ryan. I think you're with me. The quarterback situation <sighs> in San Francisco a little sketchy. Uh, well, I don't know if you saw this, Sean, but uh, I went viral on a uh, Niners Twitter. <laughs> So much shout, shout out, I, I, shout out fired. to Adi. Well, I don't think you saw this, but shout out to Adi and the Clips team, because Adi quote tweets it. He goes, "I saw this was going viral on 49ers Twitter. Didn't realize it was Kramer." <laughs> was Adi is our social guy. He's also a uh, he runs a fan page for the Niners. Yeah, he's a 49ers fan. So um, yeah, so that, I, I saw that one. But he called a, you a Niners fan. 
Yes. Well, it's, it's he, got, he clearly it, did not click on your Twitter. So it went out of control. Because well, Ryan quietly is. Ryan has been pounding the table for <laughs> Sam Darnold, uh, comeback player of the year. And he's about to be on the climb. I think you may have even put uh, Sam Darnold in your MVP portfolio. Oh, I did. So Kramer's <laughs> quietly been a huge fan of the yeah. Niners and his projections. Uh, we it's, just it's both shared the opinion that we're out on Trey Lance. And the 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 Niners coaching staff shares that to the point where I I randomly got involved and I and I bet a guy fifty bucks online that uh, Darnold would be higher on the depth chart than Trey Lance. Uh, it was just I don't know. It's just so funny. They love Trey Lance. They I would have thought they would have been all in on. Um, all right, here we go. I put it on the screen for you. Oh yeah. Oh, I did. This is the quote tweet of what you sent me. But the beat reporters. Uh, which, by the way, Sean, I trolled. Not, I trolled them again by saying this is a <laughs> Sam Darnold tweet. But listen to this quote: Trey Lance. Uh, Trey Lance has a bad habit of overstriding and making and and missing high. So let's reinforce that bad habit by starting every practice with a drill that makes him overstride. Brian Greasy and Kyle Shanahan, probably. This is what this this is why Lance ne- uh, needs Jeff Christensen. This is from a. So here's what's funny about this guy. When you sent me this tweet, Sean, again, yeah. you don't know this part, but that a lot of people tagged him in the reply to my original <laughs> tweet as if like he was going to come in and regulate. Sounds like he's on the same page. Oh, really? Ah, he's a, is that not a way? Is he, or you're, oh, no, you think, he's, he's making an excuse for Trey. Lance. Got it. I see. He's okay. blaming everyone, but Trey Lance got for that it. comical overthrow. All right. Uh, I'm on the clock. What do I do here? Jameer Gibbs, Christian Watson, oh, Mike Williams, Gibbs, a running back. You're going to be like the lions and celebrate that running back pick. Nice and early. Uh, he has been, fla- Jameer Gibbs. he has been flashing in, uh, in underwear or non pads. <sighs> I'm going to go Mike Williams. Oh, oh, I went oh, oh, I waited too oh, long. Got distracted. Uh, this is the problem. Uh, uh, I'll I'll say this. I don't have any I'll share of this. Jameer Gibbs, so I'll 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 enjoy my first share of Jameer Gibbs. Uh, we we uh, we were chatting. What what did you do for your uh, picks here, uh, Andrew? Uh, so I took uh, Lamar Jackson and Najee Harris. Ooh, ooh, interesting. Don't hate those at all. Najee has. Uh, I've not been getting enough. I, I feel like his ADP come September is going to be nowhere near where it is now. So I think you guys were a year ahead on Najee. I know you guys were really high on him last yeah. year. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think this is the year they improved that offensive line. Um, I mean, Jalen Warren is is good, but he's not a tremendous threat to Najee Harris's work. Um, so yeah, I think actually this is the year that he can finish in the top eight. Yeah. And, and I, I'm with you. I, I think he's um, it, it's a good opportunity for them. And the fact that if you think Pickett makes any sort of jump in the second year, that'll create way more opportunities and, he, and that whatever that foot injury was, did seem to seem to slow him down if he's fully healthy. And, and I saw he lost a bunch of weight too. I like, I think he had put on weight thinking, Oh, all right. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to be like an every down back. I'm going to get 350 carries, all these touches, whatever. And then I think he slimmed down a little bit. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up kind of being more explosive. He's pretty interesting. Uh, come fantasy time. Yeah. He's over that foot injury too. He was, he said he was like, it felt like he was running on a nail last year. So that's, that's all said and done. Uh, I, d- I did see Shane Kenyon in the chat said uh, he is B Swiss in the 11 spot and he's drafting with his wife who has been, and I quote smoking that weed. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Yeah, smoking my weed. You know, fun fact. Uh, my dad was a master gardener. Oh, like, wow. Not, not any sort of uh, euphemism for, <laughs> for smoking marijuana. Kramer, what'd you do? You took a tight end and a running back. Yeah. I mean, Andrew sees what I'm up to over here. He hates that mm-hmm. I have three running backs already, but he knows exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I won't, do you uh, want to tell people I won't who give you out, draft? I won't give out your secrets. <laughs> no, I mean I'm just I just I have two Vikings now. I'm clearly going to be drafting Kirk Cousins later. I so have you Justin took Jefferson TJ Hawkinson I, with my bring back planned as Aaron Jones. Hmm. Lo, you know I love a bring so back week week seventeen. You know I love a running back bring back, and then I also have uh, Derrick Henry and Stevenson. I probably won't be touching the running back market for a while. Hmm. That would be my guess. Kenneth but now Wal- I'm giving away my secrets. Kenneth Walker, Dobbins, DJ Moore, Justin Herbert goes. I'm on the clock here. Can we talk about? Well, I'll, I'll let you make your. While you make your pick, I'm going to ask Andrew a question. Unless you do, you need help. 
You want to phone a friend? No, I'm. Okay. T- I, <laughs> I, I I had Miles Sanders and Joe Mixon in my queue. I'm going to go Joe Mixon. Great, of great the conversation for a little uh, week 17 correlation. I'll veto my question. For, we can talk about my question for Andrew later. Joe Mixon. So it was between Joe Mixon uh, and Aaron Jones. There, a correlation was the tiebreaker. Something Andrew and I were talking about before the show. If you should be looking at that bring back correlation, like as a as anything more than a tiebreaker, we both agreed no. But uh, yeah, Joe Mixon was the other guy. He has fallen down. There's not. I, I was even. I have our lads uh, up right now because, in preparation of maybe drafting him, I wanted to point out. Like, do all right. Name the Bengals backup running back. Chase Brown. Chase Brown. See, this guy runs and drafts at the same time. He's on top of his <laughs> shit. Chase Brown, followed by Travion Williams and Chris Evans. Yep. Obviously, Chris Evans. We know he kind of had carved out a little bit of a role, but this feels like an overreaction to a couple, like that whole tier of running backs feels overreaction. Ken Walker overreaction, Aaron Jones. Maybe it doesn't matter. (laughs) Words don't matter anymore. You know what words matter? Edge boost, baby. Have you signed up for edge boost? If not, you're missing out. Imagine uh, unlocking the world's first ever bet. Now pay later visa card again. Let's say you put up a hundred dollar bet. Edge boost will match that, and then you pay them back over four equal installments. So you can get down on that bet. Let's say you really wanted to get down on heat money line. You only had a hundred dollars. Edge boost can help you out, getting you that extra hundred, uh, take care of you so you can hit that sweet bet. I mean, just it gives you so much, so many options. Uh, hedging a bet, getting down on some future stuff, whatever it is. Edge currently offers up to twenty five hundred dollars in betting advances. Again, this could be a really good tool for you. A zero percent interest. Again, this is not some sort of loan shark. What loan shark charges you zero percent interest? That's right, none. Uh, support SGPN and grow your bankroll by going to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge to sign up today. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge to get that uh bonus and uh zero percent interest. Oh man, Miles Sanders. Yep, just got drafted ahead of me. Oh no! Uh, I no definitely... longer on the Eagles. If you weren't aware, uh, no, that no. doesn't matter. If he if he was on the <laughs> Eagles at any point, with the exception I of think, a couple players, I think Miles Sanders. And we haven't given out our most rushing yards. He's definitely, I think, an interesting <clears throat> guy to consider because I who I don't think Chuba Hubbard is going to compete with him. You have a rookie quarterback. I think Frank Reich hmm. realizes they need to establish the run to get that team going. I think they brought him in to to. Give him a shit ton of work. So even if you're not high on his skill set, I think the production is, or like the 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 touches are going to be there. And a lot of fantasy, that's half the battle. I ended up going Kadarius Tony with the uh, little stack there with uh, Patty Mahomes. Well, that's a fun one. So, so I wanted to say this at the top because a lot of these players I'm going to talk about here real quick uh, were players that have already been drafted. But I, I've dove into. Uh, wide receivers uh, in in the red zone, you know, how many targets they're getting. And here's the list of the top 10 players with the highest percentage of their team's red zone targets when on the field uh, last year. Uh, Number one, DK Metcalf, 46% of the time, Christian Watson, 42% of the time, Drake London, 38% of the time, AJ Brown, 36% of the time, Keenan Allen, 36, Steph Diggs, 35, Devontae Adams, 36, Garrett Wilson, 34, Jamar Chase and Jerry Judy, both 32%. Uh, I, I just find that interesting, um, you know, because obviously on underdog still half point PPR. So I feel like we need to look at players that have the potential to score a lot of touchdowns. That's how you're going to maximize your points. Um, so it, it's just something I've been diving into. But uh, again, a lot of those guys are the guys you kind of expect. Um, I think the only ones that are going outside of the first two rounds would be uh, Watson. Uh, oh, actually, top three rounds would be Watson, London and Judy. Interesting. Yeah, Watson's um Watson's interesting. What what's your take on James Conner? Uh there, Andrew. You see what Conner said today? No. That, that he likes being in an, in an underdog role. James and, Conner. And he he can't can't wait to show the world they're wrong about the Cardinals. I loved it. I mean, I, I it there, makes me I, almost want to go bet bet their fifty to one division future. I think or whatever. there is a little chip on uh, the team's shoulders, and I think they do want to show they can win without Kyler Murray. I also think they do suck, but look at James Conner. I mean, behind him, Keontae Ingram, Corey Clement, uh, AK Stud from Super Bowl Fifty Two. But I, I don't think you want to talk about like not having a ton of competition. 
I think James Conner is in a uh, pretty good role there. He is in a good spot, you know, when you are comparing the competition he has to deal with. The problem that I have with James Conner is one, his health. You know, is he going to stay healthy? That's, n- you know, not been his strong suit. And two is the high value touches he's going to get. You know, is, is he going to get a lot of work inside the red zone? Because are they going to be in the red zone a whole lot? You know, this team's probably going to suck. Now, on the caveat of that, we all thought Seattle was going to suck last year and look what they did. So, but I think this is a little bit of a different scenario. Um, I just don't see the Cardinals being very good. So I'm kind of off of James Conner. Um, but I mean, I, he's, he's not going to kill you where he's going. I just don't think he's going to get a whole lot of high value touches. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess the counter is I do think he could get a high number of percentage of their red zone touches, but to your point there, there wouldn't be many. It, it is interesting though. He has had those outlier seasons where he gets a shit ton of touchdowns. Um, I, yeah, I, he's, he's just kind of interesting. Cause he's, I do think considering his pedigree, he's, he's fallen pretty pretty far. And, and obviously the injury concerns, I actually went Isaiah Pacheco just for the stack. Ryan and I were talking off air about how his theory was that the QB running back stacks kind of underrated uh way to kind of correlate. So, I mean, I have Mahomes, Jameer Gibbs, Joe Mixon, Isaiah Pacheco, Debo, <clears throat> Kadarius, Tony, and Kelsey. So I specifically have four in, guys from the chiefs specifically in offenses. You think are like locks to score a lot. Yeah. Cause then you're scooping up all the touchdowns. I, I I I also love the running back as the bring back correlation. I I think it it creates less. Um, I yeah I, I think it's just a it, it's a different way to do it because you've you've already you've kind of th- generally you're drafting the running back first. You've kind of thought about it backwards. And honestly, like my team is weird now. So uh, Ramondre Stevenson, Derrick Henry, Aaron Jones, Justin Jefferson, Traylon Burks, T.J. Hawkinson, Darren Waller. Should I have drafted Alexander Madison? Or Jordan Addison. Wow, a lot of sons. Uh, we were discussing this before the show. So, like the the max number of players you want to stack with a quarterback. And Andrew kind of pointing out you don't really want to go over two made me stop there and not take Addison. So we'll see how it goes. Mm. Well, they're just putting this on record so we have someone to blame. <laughs> uh, James Conner went uh, right in front of me. I'm gonna scoop up uh, David Montgomery. I think. Uh, you know, no Jamal Williams. I I get obviously they have. Well, I did draft Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery. Oh, I, that's one of the teams I don't think. I think you you would have been fine had you. Uh, I think I'm. I, I don't hate it. I I think I'm. I it was not my intention, but now that I stumbled into it, <laughs> I I I'm, I'm talking myself into it because I think I think Detroit could put up some touchdowns. I still think their defense is pretty bad, and now you get Jameer Gibbs or uh, you know David Montgomery. I'm I'm down for that. So let me get your uh, l- let me get your takes here. So uh, with yeah, my do, last Andrew? two picks, I took two uh, Ravens wide receivers. I took Zay Flowers and Rashad Bateman back to back to nice. stack with Lamar Jackson. Nice. Is, that, is that too much? No, too much yeah. uh, investment right there. What's what's the, t- who else are you stacking with him? Well, you missed. As well, you, I mean, you didn't it, get Mark I, Andrews, right? Correct. I don't have Mark Andrews. Uh, late, I may take Gus Bus, uh, but outside of that, probably probably nobody. I mean, maybe depending on what happens with my tight ends, I might take Isaiah Likely. But again, I'm I'm already stacked up two at the most. One more is is my max. So I'll probably take Gus later on if I can. But um, I'm probably done taking pass catchers. Yeah, okay. yeah. I I would I would take Isaiah Likely. That's just me. I like the talent. <laughs> And I don't think uh, he was a fun. He was a fun. Yeah, he's he's one of those guys year. in my part in my first touchdown, multi touchdown, tight end kind of just appeared like we were going to be G- right. G- Gindy just texted me. He said, uh, "You guys just skipped over that Cole Comment won 50, 50 picks above ADP. <laughs> he uh, he sure did. Oh my god, <laughs> that was not on my radar. Anthony, uh, uh, also, Anthony Richardson just got drafted in the eighth round. Where do you think he should be going, Ryan? That I I don't know. There there's a little bit of maybe he's being drafted at his ceiling mm. that we should have that conversation. How many games does he have to play to achieve that number? He's drafted I right mean, next to I just took Kirk Cousins and Anthony or so I, I sandwiched Anthony Richardson with Kirk Cousins and Dan Jones. Does he outscore either one of those guys? Mm. If he if he plays a full season, maybe. But I mean, if Gardner starts, I mean, I, who knows when he gets in there? I mean, I, I say he at least needs to play fourteen games to get anywhere near that. But he threw it in the net. 
<laughs> wow. No, I mean, to your point, they're they're projecting this awesome rushing potential. And certainly that could happen, but yeah. at where you're drafting them, yeah. is it really that great of No. It's it's a steal when you're taking Jalen Hurts it's, in 2021 when people don't realize what a study is running the ball. Like that's that's where you got to be a year ahead, and I don't know if you are at this point. I'm pulling up some fantasy point data. We're going to talk about this. All right. There's no getting out of it. I'm getting a little, maybe a little bit of a stretch, but I took Tyler Boyd, uh, which is again, he's my boy. Tyler, but also this is your Boyd. (laughs) He's Tyler. (laughs) You're my Boyd, Blue. Also, just adding to my Week 17 uh, Chiefs Bengals uh, double bring back here. All right, so. Go ahead. Go ahead. Andy. Oh, no. I was, I was going to say, so real, real quick on Tyler Boyd. I actually like Tyler Boyd a whole lot. He was a top 15 wide receiver last year when both Higgins and Chase were on the field. Yeah. Uh, it was weird. When Chase got hurt, he actually fell back. Um, but the Bengals threw almost 100 times more last year than they did in 2021. So that's something to watch is are they going to keep that pace or are they going to scale it back a little bit? Uh, I'm not sure why they threw way more than expected, um, but that could have contributed to why Tyler Boyd was so good. All right. So, I mean, I, I think he's just a dog and uh fun fact, and you know, we oh. like talking about this, but I believe he is playing for a new contract. So, mm. and it ain't going to be with the Bengals, it seems. And so generally those kind of guys perform well. All right. Last year, quarterback fantasy points total. I'm going total because it's, it's not fair to not go total. Justin Fields had an amazing year. Where do you think he finished in fantasy points? Yes. One fantasy points. Sixth, six, hmm. six. He had Kirk so many Cousins, rushing yards. Kirk Cousins seven, Dan Jones nine, Trevor Lawrence eight, Geno Smith five. Okay, Geno Smith had more fantasy points. Yeah. Really? Um, this is per uh, fantasy pros. Hmm. So, not not in per game, but in total. Anthony, so you're saying Anthony Rich? Well, did Justin Fields miss games? I'm trying yeah, to remember. He his. played. Uh, let's see. He missed he, the last game. He said he opted out, and he had a couple duds early in the season. Okay. Uh, still, he had some super you're high saying, ceiling. You're games. saying his his. You're saying Anthony Richardson can do that. I think if you're drafting him in the eighth round, because then well, he this can. This is out, Justin he, Fields' second year too. Yeah, I know. I, that's what. Whoa, that's, that's a great point. Let's go back to Justin Fields' rookie year. Oh boy. <laughs> He didn't do anything. <laughs> and and he like he's kind of the best case scenario. Let's see. I, I I'll even Oh, I can't. I hold on. I got to pick. We got to we got to we got to pick. 11.4 fantasy points per game. 31 overall if you go by total. I'll even give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's see what it is if we go average. That's still not good. It's 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 uh it's about the same. So like I don't, I guess I don't understand why people are drafting Anthony. That's the thesis. Mm. Feels feels like we're uh, feels like we're we're just getting a little getting a little over our skis, you know. Yeah, that happens this time of year. It, we see a guy throw it into the net, and we're like, "Woo!" <laughs> yes, sir. All right, Kramer. Update people. What have you been? Uh, what did you, did we miss any of your picks? No, I'm still. Okay. Well, no, I took Dan Jones and Kirk Cousins. Yeah. So I have the rare two three two two build. <laughs> uh, now we, I think we just start loading up on on pass catchers. I got one quarterback, five running backs, three receivers, and a Shoot. tight end. What do you? What do you look? Running backs to have already. Eh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have right. uh, one quarterback, three running backs, six wide receivers. Some will say that was a reach. Just took Nico Collins. Again, with my my Houston love. I do so, have Derrick Henry and Traylon Burks on the roster. So what I've done is that that's called some correlation there. Mm. And I love Nico Collins, obviously, because he's on the Texans. Are you what are we do, what are we doing with this Las Vegas situation? Because it does seem like Myers is getting drafted incredibly low for a guy that was signed and brought in to be a guy. Yeah, former former <laughs> Patriot. Yeah, brought in by a Patriot uh, guy. Is it's he a not? Baby fucking wheel. I understand man. Devontae Adams is on the team, but we're in the eleventh round. Yeah, that's a little bit crazy. I need pass catchers. I'll take. Who's going to be throwing the ball there? I I understand that's the reason you're Tom scared Brady. Of him. Yeah. Maybe it's Tom <laughs> Brady. That's a great point. The fact that they've already explored the rule where they would be 
Is it against the NFL rule book to be an owner and a player? The, the uh, other not. NFL owners would it's have not. to sign off on it. I mean, that would be the greatest fucking story ever. Why know. would they not let I you do know. it, Ryan? Do you think Brady's the kind of guy who wants a bunch of attention? Uh, this is the same league like that like wouldn't it. wouldn't let that Canadian doctor put doctor on his jersey. <laughs> I mean, that like, is come dishy. on, it's, you should be promoting that motherfucker went to medical school and played line lineman in the NFL. I'm gonna have so many Chiefs. This this team too many be Chiefs. Insane. I guess Chiefs is one of the teams where it's <laughs> it's probably not horrible to go crazy. <laughs> Like, should I? I'm I'm coming up here. Should I take Sky Moore? You know, he was the guy that got called out by Andy Reid, which tells me if he starts slow, he could find his way into the fucking doghouse. Here's the problem with the Chiefs, though. They got Kadarius Tony, and he max twelve percent of the plays. So Someone you gotta figure out. You gotta figure go, out the other eighty. Where do I go, Jerick uh, McKinnon? And I have McKinnon and Pacheco. It's probably too crazy. Hmm. Yeah, Sean. Sean's trying to simplify his approach. But he's really com- com- complexing it. That's not a word either, Sean. Nope, not a word. <sighs> Rashi Rice. They're all like right here. They're all asking me to be drafted. Sean Grammarly, fucking green over here. <laughs> <laughs> so you wouldn't draft Sky Moore, even though you had Patrick Mahomes. How many stacks? We were just talking about this. Uh, I, I would say my personal preference is two to three. I got a receiver, a, a tight end, and a running back. Two to three total. That's all you have right now is three. Yeah. It's the Chiefs. So I would say there's probably a half dozen teams where it's, oh, you motherfucker. You see, I have Titans. Yeah. Oh, damn you, Sean. Stepping in on. You, I took Chig. I, we were discussing this. Another guy willing to take Chig naked. How do you know I'm not Co- going to take correlate, Tannehill? Correlate a mother. Please take Tannehill. I or he's in my queue. don't leave Chig naked or correlate him with a. Uh, do you have another tight end? Yeah, a guy okay. by the name of Travis Kelsey. Then you. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Then I would say make sure you grab. Do you want to? Do you want a Texan to correlate him with Week Seventeen? By the way, Darnell Mooney, <laughs> great correlation to a Desmond Ritter, Drake London, Kyle Pitts, or Bijan stack. Great bring back there, Darnell Mooney. Doing deep studying on the. On the bring back, Sean. I feel like I'm a little bit more prepared for it than you right now. How so? Ah, just <laughs> having a conversation with myself over here while you play blackjack. <laughs> no, I'm ordering. Sean, by the way, I, I I looked. Uh, I I was excited to see it. almost a year to the date we did a uh, blackjack stream. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, yes, p- put on the things we should do while in Ohio. A blackjack stream. No, oh, yeah, one hundred percent. Add that to the itinerary. Yeah, going to be out there uh, for the fantasy football expo. Going to be a lot of fun. Oh, Mingo went. Andrew Rob took Mingo. What's your take on that? And uh, buying the hype. I like it. Tell me about mm. it. Uh, man, I'm trying to figure out who I want to do here. Oh, man, I, I, yeah, I like Roshan Johnson a whole lot. Um, yeah, Mingo. I mean, who, who in that? passing core. Do you truly think is going to be the number one? I mean, I, I think the the dark horse is Terrence Marshall. Uh, I think Adam Thielen is dead. So uh, I I don't like Adam Thielen. I don't think he's going to do anything. I don't (laughs) know. They they hyped up Adam Thielen. Uh, They, they, they were attacking him up. That's cool. I mean, yeah, they, (laughs) they can do that all they want, but uh, I mean, he's on the wrong side of 30 and he's coasting down. If you look at his average depth of target over the last like three or four years, it's just continuously declining. And that's because so is his, uh, you know, uh, ability. Uh, I I just think it's Mingo or Terrence Marshall is going to be the number one uh, in that offense. And, you know, I I actually will take a shot on both of them. I have a decent exposure on both of them as well. Uh, But yeah, I like Mingo. I mean, I like the, the unknown in that offense and, uh, Again, I think it's going to be a team that I don't think is going to be winning a whole lot of games, and they're going to be forced to pass the ball. And uh, Mingo's very athletic, so Adam Thiel in front of the show always gets a bump for me and my ratings. Uh, what about um? What about uh? You oh, although he did lie to Terrace Marshall. What about told DJ? us he was going to get it figured out with the Vikings. <laughs> he did say that right to our face. What about uh? What about DJ? Chark? Oh my! Right in my queue. You got a mirror over here. You see, I got Vikings and Aaron Jones. I just drafted Romeo. Uh, you're you're Romeo real. Jobs. Oh my god! I mean, yeah. I, I, I kind of like the the rookie, Jaden Reed. Hmm. I give Sean all my good information. He just steals it. Bullshit. Tell me about Hunter Renfro. I mean, where's he gonna play? He's gonna, he, he's gonna be traded. I know that wasn't on the on the prep sheet. 
Where is he? Just a play? reminder, guys. Zeke Elliott has not been drafted. <laughs> oh shit! Should I bring that up? <laughs> he's, say, yeah. that, I mean that I, that video is priceless. <laughs> I hate I hate Zeke, but he's. <laughs> He's he's being drafted with Jerome Ford, Jeff Wilson, oh, don't, Deonta Foreman. Don't don't speak down to Jerome Ford. He's a great late round pick. <laughs> oh great. my god, yeah, one of my favorites. See, what's your take on KJ Osborne? Oh man, yeah. uh, I think okay. he's a, a decent best ball. You know, if you if you're stacking up the the Vikings, uh, I don't want him at all. If I don't have uh, you know any of the Viking, if I don't have Jefferson to at least pair him with, uh, I don't want anything to do with him. Uh, I think he's okay. I mean, he'll be out there for three wide receiver sets, but two wide receiver sets, he's, he's dead in the water. Um, so I, I don't know. And I mean, he's what at best, the fourth guy on the team and you know, for, for targets. So I, I don't know. I, there's other guys around him. I'd rather have, I'd rather take a shot on Jalen Hyatt. No, I got to talk you away from that. Uh, he's going to have to do a lot from what I'm hearing. Really interesting. Yeah. I mean, why, why draft him high third round? Oh, well, I, I mean, for them, that's high. I mean, look at their wide receiver core outside of Darren Waller. It's a whole bunch of Ferraris. I don't know if you saw the, uh, <laughs> okay. the, 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 the I would say, <laughs> I think that which Ferrari will I choose the <laughs> rev your engines. It's Isaiah Hodgins time. <laughs> it's crazy that Hyatt's going first. Slayton will definitely outscore Darius him. Slayton, aka a Ferrari. I think Hodgins and and Paris Campbell are interesting. Uh, Robin Robin Wando Robinson had their only hundred yard game last year. Fun fact. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how fun that is, Ryan. It's a fun <laughs> fact. <laughs> Irv Smith goes. Oh, just I saw it. that. The, so I'm I'm uh, I'm drafting a ton of MVS just randomly hmm. in the middle of drafts. Really. Yeah. Uh, they paid him a bunch of money. He, he does something that's mostly different from all the other guys on the team. Yeah. He does like, have that speed option. Darius, Tony, sky Moore, um, new she guy. Was. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> I'm not calling him by his name until he does something new guy. <laughs> They're all, they all are gadgety guys and MVS's gadget is like downfield routes. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what, I, what it, breaks out, but I think I'm going to pull up, you know, I'm turning myself into a, a basically a cap specialist this off season. I need, I need to find a class and get officially certified, but I'm going to pull up. Uh, well, giants could use a cap specialist oh, cause yeah, they're not yeah. great at managing it. Unlike the Philadelphia Eagles. How we Rose still haven't addressed that hundred million dollar cap. Hit. Oh, come on. Cause it's never going to happen. Tyler Higby goes. All right. I'm gonna take on. I'm gonna take a chance on DJ Chark. Well, he would be the guy that I think is, you know, he has a greater than zero percent chance to be their number one. Yeah, I would say so. professional deep threat, if nothing else, I guess. Yeah, I can't believe Terrence Marshall is the one that's going last. I mean, he was the one that flashed a little bit last year. I, I would expect him to go his, higher. Yeah, um, I liked his profile coming in. Old so. old coach. That's the problem. Like they drafted by someone else. Problem. Uh, to back to the MVS thing, his uh, yeah, he's paid him a bunch of money. I think he's going to be an interesting piece. What about year. Curtis Samuel, Andrew? Oh, Commanders football team insider contract year, Redskins insider. Yeah, there was a there was talk about uh, between him and uh, Gibson. You know who benefits more from EB coming in and having this like gadget offense. Um, so I'm I'm interested there. You know what? I'm gonna take Donald Peoples Jones. Um, damn, these wide receivers and running backs suck. It's a weird part of the draft. Every time it I is. get here, it's like, well, this these guys all suck. <laughs> it's the part of the draft when Zeke starts showing up in the top of the queue. <laughs> get a good chuckle. By the way, if you weren't keeping track, I did draft Van Jefferson before Van, uh, MVS. Great bring back for Dan Jones. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Correlated out the ass. Not reaching though. No, no, not reaching. Good tiebreaker though. Not reaching, just a good tiebreaker. Plus EV only here. Rashid Shahid and Juwan Johnson. Those are both pretty interesting. Although I would still, I, I still will, still would take Taysom Hill. Honestly, I think he's a great best ball player. Yes, especially if you have like one really <laughs> good tight end. 
He's but fun because he he'll have. Did he, he go he, already? I don't think he's going. Yeah. Uh, he, no, no, he's there. Uh, yeah, he's still available. I took him out of my queue because I got Chig. So, uh, Kramer, as I sit here drinking my LaCroix, where are we out on that LaCroix sponsorship, especially for yeah. draft day? Wisconsin. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Got my second quarterback, Bryce Young. Oh, how many shares of Bryce Young? Look at you. But again, you can get his receiving core pretty late. <laughs> All right. I'm at uh, two quarterbacks, three running backs, six receivers, two tight ends. I'm not taking any more tight ends, considering another quarterback. Although I don't, I can't, I can't do what I wanted with Tannehill and Chig because Sean, Sean ruined it. Yep. Justin Ross or Richie James, late round oh, KC guy. By, I mean, Justin Ross is fun, but Richie James is probably the better pick. Justin Would Ross, agree, is he gonna, he's not going to play football in the NFL. I mean, I'll make that. Man, better. I'm not sure either one of those guys hit 100 fantasy points this year. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to draft either of them. I'd rather just take the top three or four guys. Um, if I had to pick though, I guess that's Richie James. I mean, at least he's, he's done it. You know, they, they've seen him do it in the NFL. Justin Ross probably would have done it last year, but he got hurt. Uh, I like Justin Ross a whole lot in dynasty, but yeah, for here, I, I guess it's Richie James, but I prefer to choose either, you know, neither You're talking yourself into LaVisca Chenault at all. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to be hurt by Visca again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little uh, Ramondre. Ty Thornton team stack. You like that, Sean? Doing yeah, most- Thornton. Thornton's been getting some hype. Uh, I've seen him go uh, much higher in, in some of these drafts. He's super fragile as a human being, but if he stays out there, he's he's interesting. If, especially if they have a non Matt Patricia based offense, he makes a little bit of a l- jump. You get uh, McCorkle throwing the ball a little bit better. You could talk yourself into into him having a decent year. Taysom Hill goes to our boy Gindy. Don't hate a Taysom Hill pick. So Curtis Samuel, not gonna take him. I mean, Curtis Samuel, I've taken every time I've taken Sam Howell, I think. Nope, Curtis Samuel goes. <clears throat> Kenny Gainwell to me is still very interesting. Well, I already have Rashad Penny, so I probably won't take him, but Brock Purdy still available. Number one quarterback, Robert Woods, Ryan, who's your quarterbacks, Ryan? Uh, Dan, Dan Jones, Jones and, and Kirk cousins. Okay. I'm actually sorting out in my head. Well, I only have three running backs. I'm thinking I should get to five and sacrifice a third quarterback. And just say, fuck it. All right. What am I going to do here? Do What's more that? important? A second stack for Dan Jones, Andrew, or a third quarterback. Uh, who are your two quarterbacks? I'm sorry. My two quarterbacks are Dan Jones and Kirk Cousins. So I could uh, di- different bye weeks, right? Oh fuck me! Yeah, I need another quarterback. Okay, the- well, there's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! I just drafted Chuba Hubbard. I know I just made a case earlier in the show about how he's not going to get much, but I already got. I'm loading up on some Panthers offense. May as well take him here. Super late. Hmm. What do you got cooking here, Andrew? What are you looking? You got two picks coming up. What are you looking for? Well, uh, I need some running backs here. Um, I also have one quarterback as well. Quarterback's not really a priority to me though, because um, you know I have Lamar Jackson. So no. if Lamar Jackson gets hurt. I mean, it's it's boned anyway, right? This team's gonna suck anyway. So I think uh, I think I'll just bypass the quarterbacks for now and focus on running back. And I'm so glad nobody picked Dawson Knox. I didn't want to say that out loud before my pick up here. But <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? Dawson Knox is is the starting tight end for the Buffalo Bills. It's going 176. That's yeah. it. I don't care what anybody says about Kincaid. We have no idea what he's gonna do yet. He might play there. He might be their slot guy. I will take Dawson Knox 10 out of 10 times in these drafts. If he's going to sleep. It's true. I mean, specifically if you're, if you have Josh Allen, it seems like you should carve out a spot on your roster for Knox before Kincaid to me, if I like, just as a, a like a dangle third stack piece or something like that. Although jo- Josh Allen teams are going to be strange. Like who are you stacking with him? If you don't get digs, I assume you're going to have some combination I mean, of cook Gabe Davis 
and yeah. and and Kincaid or or I guess Knox and some real oh CJ Stroud goes Sean that was going to be my pick. So you're going to go three quarterbacks? Don't believe in Daniel Jones? No, I just they're both same bye week. John, you weren't yep. paying attention earlier when Andrew unlocked the uh, <laughs> the riddle for me. <laughs> Now, Kramer, I mean, I, I have a couple teams where I do have both only two quarterbacks and they both have the same bye week. I also took a couple teams with just Patrick Mahomes, so just one quarterback. So, so don't, your thoughts don't be scared on that, to go against the grain. Your thoughts on that is fuck it. I don't yeah, I fuck it. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, why not? Right. I mean, uh, again, like if I'm taking Patrick Mahomes, what quarterback am I? I mean, unless you're going to do the, the double elite quarterback, which I don't, uh, I, I'm not a fan of, uh, I mean, who's really, who am I going to pick at the end of the draft here? That's going to save my team. If Patrick Mahomes gets hurt. That's the way I look at it. So I mean, why not just take a positional Trey player that might help? <laughs> yeah, Trey Lance. Trey Lance is available. Sure. Worth noting. Yeah, I don't know. This is tough. I I I'm looking at my team to see if there's some I was gonna take CJ Stroud. I just took the aforementioned Terrace Marshall. All right. So I plan on doing something where I'm pretty sure at, like anyone listening is going to be like, wow, that's really smart or, <laughs> or holy shit. Who the fuck is that? Okay. Yeah. So wh- what do you think? Will you be the, I mean, if uh, I was you, Oh I'd- fuck. Oh. Who's this ramrod cocksucker? <laughs> He's in my queue too. Chase Brown's the backup in, in Cincinnati. We talked about it earlier, but I'm getting his team is pretty good. He is that's fucked up. Gindy has Jalen Hurts, Christian McCaffrey, Alvin oh. Kamara, Samaj P. Ryan, Khalil Herbert, Jerome Ford, Chase Brown, T. Higgins, Terry McLaurin, DJ Moore, Jahan Dotson, Elijah Moore, Rashi Rice, Jaden Reed, Dallas Goddard, Taysom Hill. <sighs> Kramer took Kenny Gainwell. Smart pick by you, Kramer. I need it. Yeah, I mean, I just I'm flabbergasted right now. <laughs> I had three running backs in the queue. You, you can't talk about anybody around Gindy. He'll just take him. Sniper. Ask, ask Bruni. Brian Reese in the chat saying, "Never reach Kramer. Never. I'm not reaching. I I obey my board at all times." Kramer, if you do want to get him back, there's a QB here. He's planning on taking. I bet you. No, I, I don't. I don't care. I'm, I'm out. I'm out on caring. <laughs> <laughs> we broke Ryan. I'm out on caring. Trey Lance still available. All right, you know I'm gonna take my guy. Let's go. Nathaniel Dell. Gus Edwards, baby. <laughs> oh, love Tank Dell. Great, great. Tank Dell is so the my my. If you're asking me, top top Houston Texans stack, it goes C.J. Stroud, it goes Damian Pierce, Nico Collins, and then oh. you add Tank Dell as that extra piece because you know who Tank Dell is. Tank Dell was the dude that C.J. Stroud drafted for the Texans. That's true. It's a good nugget. I mean, Nico's better, but I I don't mind doing a little. Uh, what what if the Houston Texans are great? Love seeing Desmond Ritter drafted in the seventeenth round. I have an insane amount of Panthers <laughs> and Chiefs. That's my entire team, and some Lions and I, the Lions. Wh- what's the roster construction you got, Sean? I have two quarterbacks, six receivers, seven or sorry, six running backs, seven receivers, two tight ends. I'll probably go receiver one more time. I might not take another quarterback. I might just uh, just go Lamar Jackson. That's it. So I was thinking more well, then about you're your, not worried about that one week where you don't score nope. Lamar Jackson. Sure. Aren't. It's just points for the season. I think that does help because they obviously having points matters. I, I as I'm thinking about this, cause my team, I, I have my tight ends and quarterback stack. So I'm thinking like, what well, does it make sense for me? Tight end makes more sense for me to take a goose egg than it does quarterback. It, take just, a goose egg, meaning just drafting one. Like so, I have both my tight ends and quarterbacks are on the same bye week. Mm. For example, it makes a lot more sense to have an extra quarterback, is what I'm saying. So that concludes my thought. Yeah, but damn, who do I take? I mean, there's like no. No, you don't. You don't have to do it. It's. it's uh, you know what? I have no Trey Lance. So you know what? Oh no. Oh man, what you know what? I didn't check his bye. That is Please. a oh, disgusting God. act. What have we done? I have what a ton have, of guys. Hon. You talked me into it. Sean, what have we done? <laughs> uh, just right. can't wait to I'm draft actually, Richie James. I'm fully committed, actually. I love this pick. No, there's gonna just be massive. Kramer, can you scroll the the <sighs> Did we lose we lost a round? People are really re- coveting this eighteenth round. And we didn't <laughs> do any uh, OTA news. 
We, we, we didn't do it. OTA we, news was that Trey Lance sucks. We we, we talked. Uh, I talked about uh, no less than a half a dozen videos that I watched. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I mean, I don't. What, oh, what? someone took Richie James. Bastards. I mean, what game? What uh? What show are you you listening to? All right, I'm going Justin Ross. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, I have the entire Kansas City team. Just all right. So my what? final roster: Patrick Mahomes, Bryce Young, Jameer Gibbs, Joe Mixon, Isaiah Pacheco, David Montgomery, Rashad Penny, Chuba Hubbard. Receivers: I got Debo Samuel, Kadarius Tony, Tyler Boyd, Romeo Dubs, DJ Chark, Terrace Marshall, Lavisca Chenault, and Justin Ross for tight ends. I had Travis Kelsey, Chigozim Okonkwo. Nice work. I like this team. I really do. You should like your team. Thank you. Andrew, rip off your team. What do you got? So, uh, Lamar Jackson, uh, Trey Lance, Najee Harris, <laughs> Zach Charbonnet, Brian Robinson, Roshan Johnson, Jeff Wilson, CeeDee Lamb, Garrett Wilson, Chris Godwin, JSN, Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman, Jonathan Mingo, and Donovan Peoples Jones, tight ends, Jawan Johnson, Dawson Knox, and Isaiah Likely. Kramer. Dan Jones, Kirk Cousins, Mac Jones, Double Jones, uh, three white guys, too. Ramondre Stevenson, Derek Henry, Aaron Jones, Kenny Gainwell, Gus Edwards, Justin Jefferson, Traylon Burks, Nico Collins, Jacoby Myers, Van Jefferson, MVS, Tyquan Thornton, KJ Osborne, and then TJ Hawkinson and Darren Waller. Not my best work. <laughs> Good job though. This will this team will will make some noise. All right, look but out, look Dan, out for this team. My Dan Jones ownership is dangerously high. Not a hundred percent, thanks to that fucker from the last stream that's stolen from me. <laughs> remember, just remember, I'm the Homer. What do you Ryan, mean, Ryan? Not a homer. Jalen <laughs> Hurts, no. you're drafting in the second or first or second round. Dan Jones is, I mean, comically going to the eighth or ninth. More, more comical than the slowness of Trey Lance is release. <laughs> is Dan Jones getting drafted in the eighth and ninth round of drafts? Hey, uh, my edge double down play of the day again. Go to sportsgivenpodcast.com slash edge. I'm gonna uh, let's see which of these is my favorite pick. Sean, well, you teased it earlier. I'm going to double down on uh, Joe Mixon. I I just think that situation, the fact that it's it's like his ADP is baked in that he's not going to be on the team, but he, it's too late now. Like he is going to be the guy. Uh, 100% deposit boat, or sorry, 100. Um, double your bet with zero percent interest. Sportsgamepodcast.com slash edge. I think Joe Mixon is a nice steal here in fantasy. Kramer, what's your what's your best well, play? And you teased it earlier, but we will be discussing the rushing and receiving yeah. yards uh, prop markets, where uh, you know Mixon maybe is a, is an interesting look there. I mean, outside of the obvious uh, Dan Jones, Darren Waller connection, that's going to be wicked strong uh, this year. Let, let's go with uh, uh, Ramondre Stevenson for me. This year is going to be what Aaron Jones was last year. Ooh. I think by the time uh, September hits, he's being drafted in the middle of the second round, and we're gonna all look at ourselves and be like, "Well, this is interesting because he's gonna score a lot of touchdowns." And yeah, Pierre Strong there is there, and some other ran- randos like uh, oft injured former Jaguar. I'm blanking on his name. Came James came Robinson. through the Jets, James Robinson. I think there's a chance where he's gonna he could be like full blown Alvin Kamara with a massive goal line situation. So, Ramondre. I, I think I I mean I think we can even be talking about him leaking into the end of the first round by the time September hits. Uh Andrew Are you nodding? Oh, I'm so smart. Andrew, how say you? Who's your who's your favorite pick here on the draft? Man, let's let, let's go down the board here. Uh Roshan Johnson will be the Bears oh. starting <laughs> running back by Woo-hoo. week three. Oh, that's a I like that. What any reason behind week three? Uh, no, I just think that the coaching staff is going to be stubborn to start one of the guys that they brought in, you know, uh, like, uh, Dante or uh, yeah, Dante Foreman, you know, they're going to want to start the veteran guys, but I think it's going to quickly show that Roshan definitely is the best running back there. Mm, I like over it. my boy, Khalil Herbert. You can tell he's a he fantasy just gets guy. To the side. You can tell he's a fantasy guy. He's all in on the rookie <laughs> classic. That's how you know you're yeah. Hardcore. It's such an guy. easy sell to yourself too. Like, yeah, this other coaching staff drafted the other guy. <laughs> Fuck him. By the way, you know what else? Khalil Herbert, Justin Fuente guy. Ooh. So obvious locker room cancer. 
Oh, wow, right. Yeah. Justin Smash. Fuente can suck. Smash that subscribe button. Toss us a nice five star rating review over on Apple Podcasts, giving gift cards away for some sweet reviews. As always, Spotify, toss us a five star there. YouTube.com slash subscribe. Turn on the auto download on the Apple Podcasts. You what do you you got something, Andrew? Oh uh, no, I was gonna say everyone should visit the store as well. I know Jake just hit me up. He's gonna be p- putting up a Father's Day category. Ooh, yes. He may have already done so as well. And I think he uh, used two handsome models for his Father's Day stuff. <laughs> just a you know, sneak peek. Look out! Look I, out! I assume uh, you're talking about myself. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and uh, make sure you follow Andrew on Twitter at a Rob twenty three and check out. The SUPN Fantasy Football Podcast. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the Money Green, and he's Ryan. You can find more of my pro Sam Darnold takes at Kramer Century. Kramer, let it ride. Thanks, Andrew. Good stuff, man. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys having me on. Uh, hey, Kramer, did you uh, have you given any more thought to the.